All right, guys, well, I got the knee ready to come off here. I got lifting strap here, just kind of around the casting there in the middle. And as you can see, I pulled the gib out over here and we're ready to go ahead and lift this guy off here. So let well, you see that. All right, well, that was pretty uh, uneventful. That went, uh, that went well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my column here. And uh, I think while I got it apart here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a coat of paint on it. Originally, I wasn't really planning on that, but kind of decided the other day, I think I'll go ahead and paint it while I got it apart. All right, so I got a whole lot of scrubbing going on here. I got the saddle down here and some purple power. I've just gone over it with some copper steel wool. And right now I'm trying to get some rust off of it with uh, this scotch bright here, but it's clean. Water's really gross. This guy's ready to go ahead and I think take out of there, blow dry off and get ready to go uh, back on. And my column here is pretty clean. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, I got the column all scrubbed up here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some paint on the column here. And then I'm gonna go ahead uh, get the knee ready to go back on get the knee on because I'm kind of run running out of space here in the shop um, So I think I'm gonna go ahead Get the knee taken care of get it back on after I get the paint on there then go ahead and do the table here and then just try and do the uh, the head and the uh, Whatever the slidey thing is called there. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do on the head. I was um, looking around and uh, I was looking for one of the variable speed heads, but then I kind of decided that uh, I'm just going to go with probably a bigger motor, maybe like a three horse, and then put a VFD on it, So, which is a variable frequency drive. I found a kit that's uh, pretty neat. They're real expensive. They want like 2000 bucks for it, but uh, I can go ahead and probably build one for maybe 500 or something like that. So that'll solve my head problem. And then while I got this part, I'm going to go ahead and put new spindle bearings in it. And um, yeah, anyway. All right, so as you can see there, I let my kids pick out the color of this guy. Uh, it's gonna be Ford Tractor Blue. Not my first choice, but uh, I, uh, they helped out and so I decided I would uh, let them pick the color. So anyway, I got everything all scrubbed up here. It's, uh, oh, it's all cleaned up, scrubbed up. I scrubbed down the uh, ways on the column here and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw some paint on this guy. I know a lot of people go crazy with these things. They put Bondo on them, smooth them out. As long as the base is the same color and it doesn't look too funky, I don't really care. So we're just gonna go ahead and get some paint on this guy.
All right, guys, so got the column mostly dry here. It's uh, painted, but not totally dry. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the knee on this because I'm kind of under a time crunch. I need to actually do some stuff out here in the shop. Uh, I got the ways rubbed down with a little bit of Actra too. Scrubbed sides here, and we're gonna go ahead and slide the, uh, the knee back onto the column and go ahead and get a coat of paint on it. All right guys, so I got a couple cracked ribs at the moment, so I'm not real uh, having a whole lot of fun putting this guy back together. I've been trying to take it easy and just doing a little bit of, a little bit here and there and uh, trying to uh, not overdo it, but uh, ended up putting some new nuts in this guy here, top and bottom, and uh, just kind of cleaned everything up. And uh, yeah, so I gotta get some actual work done out here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the table back on there and then, uh, get the bottom end buttoned up and then I'm probably gonna let this project go for a little bit. Uh, I got some paying work I gotta get done. And So behind me, I got my Redneck uh, heated parts washer. It's a turkey fryer that we used to use for scalding chickens that I didn't really want to use for food. Uh, it's got some purple power in there and it's just, you know, been simmering some nuts and bolts uh, for the uh, mill here and they uh, actually do really well. They come out nice and super clean and no uh, grease or anything. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pull these guys out here, bring them in and uh, start putting the mill back together.
So it's my understanding that you just basically keep tightening these guys up until there's no slop in the table. Um, I'm probably just going to leave this. There's still a little tiny bit of slop here on the uh, on the knee here. I'm probably just going to leave this for the time being. Really, I just need to get all the parts back on this guy here so I can go ahead and do some other work out here. I just got parts and pieces laying all over the shop and yeah, need to uh, clean things up. Here's a uh, yeah. What it looks like after you get out of the purple power there, it actually comes out nice and clean. It takes all the crap off there and, you know, all the grease and grime is off there.